There once was a house. It was old and creaky. It was so run down that the pipes were all very leaky. Old Mrs. Everett had lived there alone. She had been there for years in that creepy old home. When the children passed by on their way to class, they'd hear really spooky noises and zoom by really fast. <laughs> it was early September when Billy's family moved to town. Their house was the corner one, and Mrs. Everett's was the next one down. <laughs> Billy made lots of new friends. The school was really fun. They told him about old Mrs. Everett and how they run, run, run. Well, that night, while Billy was going to sleep, he heard noises that sounded like crickety, crickety creak. standing by the tree. What was she doing? It was so late. Billy decided to stay up and wait. Well, she fed a stray dog, and she fed six cats. She brushed them and combed them and gave them a loving and warm pack. So Billy went back to his snuggly warm bed. He couldn't wait till the morning to tell the other kids what he did. said, Billy, you lie. <laughs> well, Billy did not take that lightly, because it wasn't a joke. Billy looked at his friends, and then he spoke. Let's go to the house where old Mrs. Everett lives. I'll show you she's nice. I'm not into fibs. So, they all approached the dirty white picket fence, carefully, quietly, feeling pushed it open, feeling really quite tense. They tiptoed to the overgrown yard, carefully, quietly, and very much on their guard. There was so much trash, they could hardly see the stairs. Then, they heard spooky noises, and guess who appeared. <laughs> cinnamon buns and cookies. So they all went in, and much to their surprise, she really was quite nice. Billy hadn't lied. She showed them around. It was really a treat. The old house wasn't dirty at all. In fact, it was quite neat. There were antiques and treasures all over the place. A harpsichord, a spinning wheel, and yards of old lace. The children felt bad that they hadn't been nice, so they went out to the yard and cleaned it up twice. Now it's all gorgeous, all spiffy and clean. In fact, it is now the Everett Museum. 